Hello, welcome. Hello. Today I have the pleasure to talk to Nikita from Fund Platform. Nikita, welcome. Hello, nice to meet you. So Nikita, I would like to give you first the opportunity to explain to anybody who is interested in potentially investing in the ICO to present Fund Platform and why people should care about it and why people should invest. Uh, okay, so what is Fund Platform? Fund Platform is a digital fund solution. Uh, to cut it off, it's a platform where you can create your own crypto fund or digital fund in just about a few minutes, tokenize it, and provide a marketing campaign of your own project by placing it in a marketplace of the Fund Platform. So uh, we provide opportunities to those people who need that, who have a great idea but don't have opportunities. All right, okay. So as I understand, there is an opportunity to create a fund and then to put the fund into the marketplace so that investors who are interested in investing in funds can find the fund and invest in the fund. Is that right? Yes, yes, okay. yes. That's correct. Um, so you are kind of like uh, in, in a marketplace for funds as well as a fund creator. In terms of the fund creation, what tools do you provide the fund and what is the current uh, problems that people that want to create a fund or cryptocurrency fund have and how do you solve those problems? Okay, so uh, I can explain in uh, just like creating your website. So there are some platforms like Tilda or Wix, I don't know uh, if it's popular in yeah, the Wix United is States. Popular. Yeah, people probably know Wix. So basically yeah. a, a website creation tool, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, creating a fund, it's like creating a website. You go to fund platform, you choose your options, you choose your, I don't know, blocks of your fund, you choose how the investor will buy your tokens, you choose uh, what is the description of your fund? You choose the title of your fund. You choose the initial supply of your fund, uh, number of tokens, and so on. So you can create your fund in just about, uh, I don't know, five minutes, like your own website. And uh, the main problem of uh, crypto funds or digital funds is um, creating a fund using Ethereum blockchain. So if you create a token using Ethereum, uh, you have to create a smart contract. And uh, nowadays, uh, a lot of people just can do it because it's really hard. And uh, if, because of it, it is hard, you have to pay a lot of money to create a smart contract. So we are on NEM blockchain. It allows uh, crypto funds or digital funds to create tokens or sub tokens just about two minutes and uh, you have to spend uh, i don't know two dollars on the piece of the blockchain so it's really easy and cheap uh, you don't have to know solidity or go uh don't know uh developing languages to do it so it's very easy okay all right so what i've seen is um several companies that are trying to do a marketplace for ICOs, an ICO creation tool. For example, I know a block starter, coin starter, chain starter, fund yourself now. So there's several companies in that space, kick ICO, that all try to do uh, have ICOs make it very simplify the, the ICO creation process and then for investors to be able to invest in those ICOs because they also create a kind of marketplace. So as I understand you do the same thing for a fund. So somebody with, with no, not necessarily technical knowledge, but who has some experience in investing in cryptocurrencies, is able to come to your site, um, set up within, you say, five minutes, um, the, the fund, and then he's able to invest and he's able to, by the marketplace, attract other people, investors to invest in his fund. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. So the main problem of ICOs, uh, uh, except of funds, uh, is that ICOs are usually I don't know, uh, one month or two months for preparing. So if you go to some sites like ICO Alert or as you told them, Coin Telegraph and so on, you will see uh, the list of ICOs and uh, it will be 
one month or two months and you will not see it again because uh, it uh, has already sold out all of their tokens. So yeah. banks have uh, its own model of tokenization and selling their tokens. They can sell their tokens, I don't know, two years, three years, four years. So they need a marketplace where they can be located or placed for two, three or more years. Uh, as you can understand me correctly. All right. Okay. So, are there any companies that are already doing something similar to what you're doing? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, of course. Uh, there are some companies like Economy, Black Moon Crypto, and uh, Token Box. But uh, all right. So you're saying, just hang on. So, Token Box. You're saying Black Moon, and what was the first one? Economy. Uh, economy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Economy. Yeah. Uh, so their main problem is that they are using Ethereum or Ethereum blockchain. So they don't allow funds to tokenize every product uh, inside the fund. Uh, mm -hmm. Because if you are a fund, you usually have a lot of strategies, uh, I don't know, three or more strategies, and you are willing to tokenize every strategy inside your fund. And if, you're using, if you are using Ethereum or Ethereum, uh, you have to spend really much time and money on that. So using them, you have to spend only five minutes. Okay. And and, and how do you solve that problem? Yep. Uh, as I told earlier, we use NEM blockchain and the yeah, right. okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So okay. it's the best solution for that. Okay, I understand. And so there's currently nobody that's using the NEM blockchain? Yes. Oh, okay. I understand. So Nikita, tell me a little bit about yourself, how you got started with this project and what you were doing before. Okay, so I firstly bought uh, my first Bitcoin in 2013 and uh, one year later I started to, uh, I started my career in developing. I started to write some applications using blockchain. Firstly, I used name blockchain in 2015. So one year later, I started to invest in crypto funds. Uh, there were different crypto funds. Uh, I don't know if you heard it. Uh, I don't know, TAS fund, Token mm -hmm. fund, Satoshi fund, and so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, one day, I was thinking, uh, why don't to create my own crypto fund? Because I have, uh, I had really much experience in that. But the main problem was it was really expensive. So I had to spend really much money and time on uh, creating a crypto fund. So I just asked myself, why not to let people to create their crypto funds or digital funds in just about two or three minutes without spending much time and money? Okay, okay, I understand. So now in the um, ICO, at what, at what stage are you in terms of product development and in terms of raising the money with your own ICO. Okay, uh, so the main difference between our ICO and uh, no, 95% of different ICOs uh, is that we already have a minimal viable product and uh, it is already connected to the blockchain. Uh, we have done the hardest work already and mm -hmm. uh, I think that it's really cool. So for now, uh, we have raised uh, more than Three hundreds of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. uh, on the pre-sale. Uh, it was in December of 2017, and uh, now we have about 17 days before the ICO. Uh, so, uh, if somebody is willing to buy tokens or something like that, we have a closed pre-sale now, and you can just come to the website and uh, uh, log in into the whitelist. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And what do you imagine the future of fund platform to be like? So uh, it is a very interesting question because I think that we will have our own blockchain in uh, the beginning of uh, 2019. So mm -hmm. I think that uh, our model of tokenization of everything, digital funds, businesses, ICOs, and so on, uh, is more, I don't know, more effective than uh, the model of different ICOs who are doing the same projects and so on. 
So I think that we will be <laughs> on the top of the coin market cap, coin market cap uh, on the 10 coin market cap in 2019. Wow, that's great. <laughs> okay. All right. And in terms of the, the ICO, you're offering a utility ICO, correct? Uh, it's a really hard question, yes, uh, because okay. uh, our lawyers said that we have security token, but other lawyers say that we have a utility token. So. Okay, all right. So, um, assuming it's a utility token, what kind of benefits does the, what kind of utility does the token provide? Okay, so uh, we have uh, search for crypto funds uh, for clients. Uh, into our platform and we have found them. We have already three clients in our platform. So we cannot do the same to the investors and we need to motivate uh, investors uh, to invest in crypto funds on our platform. So that is why we are doing an ICO where each investor who bought our fund token can invest in crypto funds or digital fun funds without paying any fees. So uh, it is the first advantage of uh, token holding. And the second one, if you are willing to create your own crypto fund, you can pay for uh, legal support or marketing support uh, with, our, with our tokens inside our platform. So uh, the third advantage is uh, that you can participate in the voting of fund platform where you can earn your money, just like an advisor in ICO bench on or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, understood. Have you ever considered launching your own fund of funds? I mean, you will, I guess, get to know the performance of the funds that are on your platform. So maybe you could think about launching a fund of funds. Yes, so uh, we have already thought about uh, that, but I can tell you exactly uh, because we will have a reserve fund. Uh, that is why we will hire some traders and uh, they will provide, um, I don't know, the profitable of our platform. So if one fund comes to our platform and uh, has a partnership with us, with our team, with our business, we will cover their costs if something is going, I don't know how to tell it, uh, is going bad to them, if mm -hmm. you understand correctly. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, so you already um, said that you think that your coin will go up. So an investor that wants to invest now, uh, can you kind of um, tell me or can you tell the investor why you think it's a good investment? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, of course, I can tell you. So uh, I think that the best investment in ICO uh, is uh, when you IC when you invest in business, not in an ICO, because uh, there are some guys who do ICO projects on the idea. So they create an idea and after that they are going to the ICO. So uh, we already had an idea, we had a business, we had some clients, we had an AVP and uh, we have a lot of developers in our team. There are six of them mm -hmm. and uh, that is why uh, every investor should think about uh, investing not in an ICO or hype marketing ICO or but in developing ICO, if I can explain. All right, great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Nikita. It was very interesting to talk to you. I think that a lot of people would be interested after hearing you to uh, potentially invest in the ICO. Sounds cool. And I wish you all the best for your upcoming ICO. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.